Hey guys, Mike from Well Swung here. We are in St. Louis, Missouri today on a lead from Becca and Aaron from Dakota Vintage on Instagram, some of my close friends. And we'll see what we find. I don't know. This could be a honey hole. This could be just me finding a couple items to uh, give away in my whatnot show. So stay tuned. Wish me luck. I'll see you inside. Dang, somebody threw a brick through your window? Just a guy that had a little mental problems, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. He would come in here and get warm and warm, and then one day I wasn't here, and he decided to come through the front window. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, some people would call that resourceful. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody in his state of mind, you know, uh -huh. maybe that's what he was thinking. He's like, well, how do I get in there? I guess, you know. Yeah, I'm cold. Yep. Where is he? Yeah. So we got some kind of cool lamps and uh, some kitsch, some religious items over there. Yeah, there's lots to look at in this spot. We'll have to uh, dig around and see what we find. This mask up here is kind of neat, kind of old school. Sorry for turning so quickly. It's kind of dim back here. I'm going to try to get to where there's some more lighting. Ooh, this perfume bottle's kind of cool. I think this was uh, maybe made in Taiwan. It's kind of uh, Murano glass inspired. It looks kind of like it has like adventuring or Oro. We'll put it to the side. We'll see what kind of price we can get on that because the puffer still works, so that's what's important. What's over here, a little bowl of dice. Looks like those are lucite and metal. I just picked up a bunch of lucite dice in New York when I was out there. Oh, it's got a bunch of fake gemstones. So the lighters drew me over, but I saw a yellow cube down here with like these weird faces and words that I couldn't understand. Polish mood cube. Smutney. I don't know what that means. I, I don't know if this is actual Polish words or play on words, but it's a strange little cube. Oh, look at this tiny little Zippo. What is this? Made for ants? Listen to this uh, warbling swan we got in the background. Dude's killing it on sex. Let's take a stroll, see what we see. Some lamps. What do we got over here? This is cool. A little Lucite coin spire. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Trinket box. Multicolor. I don't know what that's made out of. It's just kind of interesting looking. Hmm. I think uh, Billy Corgan wrote a song about this once. Oh, no. No, no, no. It wasn't Bird in a Cage. It was Rat in a Cage. My bad. Um, what are you? A little jack in the pulpit, but who made you? I don't know. You look, you kind of look uh, studio art class. Let's see what's in this nook. I see a table with some little goodies on it. I see a tiger. I like the finish on you. You're fun. And this little vessel. Has a little sticker and some markings. We're gonna have to look at that. Five bucks, that's good. Some bamboo. A little bowl of some old poker dice. Yeah, some nice little selection over here to look at. I like that. A uh, jar of swizzle sticks. J.W. Harper. Is that a type of booze? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section. 
don't know what that is. This one's kind of cool. I once knew a Sheila named Tantara. Oh, hello. That's some nice photography. I'm going to have to take a closer look at that. <laughs> Off camera. Jeez. Get your mind out of the gutter. Um, he's got all kinds of stuff in this space, too. Some shelving. Some cabinets. What are these? Some old video games? or Oh, it's stickers. What? Dang, Mike's got all kinds of stuff to look at, man. Got some old skateboard decks, and I uh, saw this pennant over here. One of my friends collects pennants, and I don't know if this is something she would like, but it's colorful. It's got some cool subject matter. I'm going to grab it for her. There's some interesting art here. Those two pieces on the left seem to be from the same artist. Um, then the stitching is all very, very old. Neat stuff, I'm telling you. Red octopus. Jefferson starfish. That face next to it's kind of interesting. And that cat mask is kind of cool. Yeah, I like this. Oh, I want to take a closer look at these kind of uh, geometric ones. Yeah, these are really neat. They look like they have some age to them. I think they're, yeah, 50s. And they're signed. Yeah, those look good. How about a 65 altogether for everything? 65. Could make some money maybe on it. Yeah, I'll do 65. And, uh, it was like a uh, poetry reading bar in the city here in a depressed area. And then it went to another place that was more of a they called it was called the way out i got your glasses thanks it's called the way out club and uh and he's he's moved back to maine and back and forth to florida this and that it was been in that in that bar all those years and the bar closed the guy got sick after 35 years yeah and uh i told dean i said hey they're having the estate sale and your picture's still above the bar he said well i'm calling her up and she called me and she said i'm saving that picture for you i'll give you a call and about six months later I went and picked it up her house uh, that's awesome. and he's coming next month to pick this up and it's the original artist who painted it yeah uh -huh. wow yeah. and he's coming to pick it up and uh, he lives in North Carolina that's uh, apparently this was taken by a local artist but it's 25 bucks and it's enormous I don't even know if that's gonna fit in my car but I think that's gonna go in my cat room ha <laughs> get it I'm on Instagram I'm on YouTube and then I uh, sell on an app called whatnot all right all right so that was awesome cool little spot mike's a super nice guy and i'm not just talking about myself i'm talking about the guy who owns this his name is mike as well uh but as you can see i have company for my ride home now oh nelly uh yeah i couldn't pass it up 25 bucks and it's by a local artist it's enormous i yeah Anyhow, we'll see you on the next leg of the trip. I'm going to be going to Louisville, Kentucky to see some friends there as well. So we'll see you at the next city. Uh, thanks for joining. Bye.